Um, when I was actually listening to some of the songs, tell me what what inspired, I guess, some of the writings on some of the on some of the songs. I can actually go on and on and on. Ooh. But um, like for instance, um, Jesus, He washed me. Oh man, Jesus, He washed me. My, my partner, my business partner, Reverend Joseph William Jojo, is what we call him. Okay, shout out to the Rev. Yes, yes, Rev. He and I both wrote that together. You know, it was late one night and. Um, Zell, one of my producers, he had given us the track on that, and, and I'm going to tell you, Jesus, he washed me white as snow. And you think about it, listening to the words on it, you know, he, it don't matter where you are. It don't. It God really don't. God will be there. He I can mean, meet you there. And the thing about it is that you, you those who are not saved, if you want to be saved, you don't, some people wait to go to church to get it right mm -hmm. when, you you can't do that. No, you you really can't. And you don't wait to get you you, you don't, don't want to you don't want to try to get you think you got to be right before you come into the church. No, you go to church and, and you get right while you're there. And see, and that's something is 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 very is 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 awesome that you made mention of that because when we came up with the name of the actual television show on the rise. On the rise. We yes. looked at you know a lot of different things and a lot of people they're really on the grind. Yes. But you need to be on the rise. Yes. You gotta have to claim it in order for it to happen. Yes. So we're on the rise, and this CD is on the rise. Oh and yes. You on the rise, <laughs> and listen, God is great. That's the only one that can bring us on the rise. You know, one of my tracks is track seven. It's called Mighty Good. Okay. And that's I a very, love that song. that's an inspirational song right there. I look at all the things that I've done over the years because I'm I'm older okay. in this now. Okay. But as a younger person, I've had many chances to sign with different Columbia Records and whatever else you want to put out there, but I did not at that time. And, and to actually be in the state that I am now, save and doing it. You know, it makes a difference. So there is a track on your CD called God's Facebook page. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you explain that a little bit for us? Oh, man. I'm going to tell you, right now, the way... Everybody is into the media and into just, you know, technology. Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook. If you're not Facebook and you're Twittering and whatever else. Mm -hmm. And my thought process, you know, I look at some of the pages that some of the people have out there. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if God was your friend on Facebook? Would Ooh. you be able to let him see your photos and your postings and all that good stuff? <laughs> You know, my thing is a lot of people be trying to erase real quick, like, you know. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, some of the words in that song, it said, you know, he'll poke you. He'll invite you to an event every day. <laughs> so, you know, it's just different little things that we look at on Facebook. And then part of the song goes into, you know, when we, I'm guilty of this, and I can say this. I've actually, you know, getting ready to go to church. Turn around, and because I forgot my cell phone. Go back to the house and get that cell phone, and the Bible's sitting right there beside him. He done left the Bible. Wow. That's something else. You know, and, and, and people are bad about that for work. Just as, You'll be late to work just to go back home and get that cell, cell phone because you mm -hmm. forgot it. But the thing about it is if God was your provider, would you take his master plan? Would you read the Bible? You know, that the Bible is actually your, your, your cellular device. You can text unlimited. You read those texts that, you know, are in the Bible. So that, that was my inspiration for that song. I really like how you put that song. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank well, you. we'll be right back with On the Rise after this break. Hello. I'm Larry Luster of Gur Network bringing to you the new Brother Larry Show. It's a talk show. I'm the host. And we'll be speaking on politics, science, health, world events, religion, and or any questions that you might have or want answered on the show. Uh, we want to be personal and we want you to send in concise questions that we can answer for you directly so that it'll be answered. Um, I'm going to have guests and we'll talk about things in a, in a roundabout way that you probably haven't seen before. We'd like to be fresh and new. Uh, another thing that we'd like to bring to you is, is events that are happening in your life and uh, why things are going on the way they are in this world that we're living in today and how we can possibly help to change some of those things. Catch all of this at GERDnetwork.tv. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining us here on On The Rise. I am your host, Charles Tarver. And I am your co-host, Bridget Anderson. And we have here joining us today is the incomparable, the incredible, <laughs> Mrs. Benitra, the boss lady. <laughs> yes. Now, we just actually went into some of the songs and, you know, some of the what, what inspired them yes. and whatnot. Now, I have a question. What yes. we do here on On The Rise, um, we, this is a serious show. We're not playing no games. Yeah. You know, and, and, and what we want to do is offer some education to both the artists that's up and coming. Yes. And as well as that, the supporters that we're going to need to support the artists. All right. In order for them to remain artists. Yes. <laughs> so what we're going to touch bases on today is a very important aspect that I think that we just need to address. And yeah. to my understanding, you're not only just a, just a regular artist that can sing, have a great voice, but you're also a COO of a company. Yes. Well, I'm going to tell you, they used to call me the woman of many hats. I am a mother, I am a wife, I am a COO, as well as a CEO. So the thing about it is when it comes down to just doing the plays and, and singing for different events, and then I still run a flower shop all in one. Wow. So wow, it's, it's a lot. Wow. It's a lot. Boss lady, so you can come and do a person's wedding all the way through. You're yeah. singing and decorating, huh? I have. I have. <laughs> it's a one-stop shop. You can come. I do everything except the cooking. Okay. I'm not. Boss lady's not cooking for you. Okay. Well, listen. Not that I can. Not that I can because I can burn. Now, before I leave one more time, I'm going to instruct you. I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to question you. I'm going to instruct you. Make sure you go and pick up your copy of this yes. awesome CD. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Benitra, it's been a divine pleasure and honor. Oh. I mean, I am totally elated to have met you, know you as a good <laughs> friend, and we hope that you'll continue to keep us in prayer yes. and continue to support us at On The Rise as we would do the right. exact same thing for you. All right. Well, I thank you for having me. Not a problem at all. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charles Tarver. This is my awesome co-host right here, Mrs. Bridget Anderson. Hey, we'll see you all next week, but not before leaving you with this. Now, how many of you out there running for Jesus? If so, get up out your seat. Get on your feet. Let's move. Let's jump. Let's run. And let's just dance for Jesus. I'm running. I'm running. For Jesus. For Jesus.
is gonna be trying to get the victory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Jesus. 